this video I'm going to show you how to add an animated hamburger icon to your website and use that icon to toggle a element or pop-up and in the pop-up we're going to have a menu inside so these are some cool animations that I saw a lot of you have been asking how we can add that to the website and I want to show the full process of how to add it to the website how to edit it and then and to create your full screen menu so jumping into my wordpress website i have unlimited elements installed inside of unlimited elements i'm in the extras category and over here we have something that's called animated hamburger icon i'm going to click install it adds it to my website installs the widget and in pages i'm going to add a new page and edit with Elementor. Now you can add this to a page or you can add it to a header template. I'm just adding it to a page because uh, my website is pretty empty just for demonstration purposes. Over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for the widget that I've just created, animated hamburger, animated hamburger icon. And it's very, very simple to edit. Uh, I'll just take you quickly over the settings. The first one is effect. You can change uh, how it opens and closes. Let's uh, choose something that looks nice. Uh, maybe number four or three, two. Okay, cool. You get the point. You can choose how it opens and closes. The next uh, setting is color. It's the color of the icon itself. Next setting is alignment. I, I think this setting is not so relevant because we're going to position it using fixed positioning. So uh, I suggest uh, maybe you wait a second with this one and uh, position it like I do. The next setting is the uh, size of the box uh, that's surrounding the icon. So if you make that bigger, it doesn't make the icon itself bigger but just makes the box surrounding bigger. And you can choose a different scale uh, to make the icon, the inside icon bigger. Background color is the color of this background. Border radius, if you wanna make this rounded, you can make it rounded, it's not a problem. Next step is to position this. To position, to position this, I'm going into advanced. And the first thing that's really, really important, don't forget to do it, is give a really high Z index over here. The reason I'm giving it a really high Z index is I want this to be the top layer of my website. And, and later on, we're going to make it open a pop-up. I don't want the pop-up uh, to be behind this by any chance or, or in front of this by any chance because this is going to be also our close button for the pop-up. So next step, go into positioning. In positioning, I'm going to choose inline auto because I don't want this to be full width and I'm going to position it using fixed positioning okay it snaps to the top uh, left of my website I'm going to snap it to the right and I'm going to space it from the right 20 pixels and from the bottom uh, from the top sorry another 20 pixels so right now it's positioned like I want and it's looking good I'm going to publish and the next step is to create our pop-up and put a menu inside of it. Later on, we will link this uh, widget to that pop-up that we're going to create. So I'm going into my Elementor dashboard. In templates, I'm going into pop-ups. I'm going to add a new pop-up. I'm going to call it new menu. Create a template. And of course, Elementor suggests us all sorts of pre-made templates. I'm gonna ignore them and click close, and this is our pop-up. So over here to make this pop-up full width, I'm going into viewport width. I'm gonna change the width to work by percent. Viewport width is sort of percent. I'm gonna change that to 100%. The height I'm going to change to fit to screen. And now our pop-up is a full width pop-up next thing uh, we can do we can determine a, a sort of animation zoom in zoom out which will be cool 
and uh, we can drag our menu inside. Drag a menu, I'm going to the widgets pane, I'm going to search for the word menu, nav menu, of course this is available only in Elementor Pro. I'm going to change the menu layout to vertical, so the items are just one under the other, one under uh, each other, and the section I want to make full height. The reason I'm making the section full height is because I want the menu to be in the center. So in height of the section, I'm going to do fit to screen and the menu is centered vertically. After we've done that, I'm going back into the menu settings and I'm just going to align it to center and we can jump into style. In style, I'm going to add some vertical padding between the items and in typography I'm gonna make the uh, font a bit bigger so we have a cool looking menu perfect and over here the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the toggle uh, button so this toggle button I'm going to make it a uh, full opacity Oh, sorry, it's not over here. It's not in the uh, nav menu. It's in the pop-up. So I need to go into settings, style, and close button. Now, if you know a different way to do this, I'm just going to give it a size of zero. Okay, or you can make the color uh, full opacity. If you know of a different way to do this, please update me because I have no idea how to just hide it. I thought that in settings... Uh, there was a setting for this but um, it didn't work for me so what I do is just I make the size zero it's in style close button and uh, over here I just make the size zero that makes it disappear the reason I want it to disappear is that we're going to add our own one so I'm gonna publish our menu in conditions I'm gonna add a condition and just make sure it's on my entire site okay Next, in triggers, we don't need anything. I'm going to click next again. In advanced rules, we don't need anything. I'm going to save and close. So our pop-up is created, and the next step is linking the button that we've created to that pop-up. To do that, going into the settings of our uh, animated hamburger icon, in the link, I'm going to choose dynamic. Under dynamic, I'm going to scroll down under actions we have pop-up and what that does it says okay we want to open a pop-up now we need it to tell it which pop-up to open so we need to click again in the action we're not going to choose open pop-up because if we do that it will only open it and what we need to choose is toggle what toggle does is one click opens second click closes and that's exactly what we need and over here we need to search for our new menu pop-up that we've created and everything is set up so to test this I'm gonna click update and preview and test it perfect that's about it so uh, we've created a animated hamburger menu and uh, with a cool full screen menu uh, which is, and which has an entrance animation and that's about it if you have any questions please post them in the comments or you can contact me and see you next time